Hello wonderful people! Thanks for visiting my channel again! So you guys are here to, for my part 2 of my dotting mandala. Well guess what? Here's a tutorial! So now, um, I'm going to give you a quick review of what's about to go down. So you're going to need your basic paint, right? Your red, blue, white, silver, yada yada yada, and your paint, I don't know, iPad pen, you know. And make sure you're painting um, br uh, brush, they have like a round end to it so it's easier for your dotting you're gonna need this um, painting palette to mix your stuff in and now once your paint is done and everything and everything is dried off you're gonna need this special uh, touch it's um, I actually put um, I set beads more elegant um, effect as you can see so these ones are like you know your basic round and then they're flower shaped kind of things then they come in different colors by the way i got everything from dollar from like the glue too you need, you're gonna need glue for to put on the beads the canvas the paint the paint brushes everything is followed from dollarama yeah and would you guys like to see the final almost the final touch like the final ending of this canvas voila you guys remember when I used to like sing in front of my in the beginning of my vlogs? I should. Ah, no, <laughs> my brother's like nodding, like what the hell? So, this is it, guys. This is how it looks like, pretty much. You gotta let me know in the comments down below and what you guys think about this piece that I just made. Okay, I got some announcements. So. For this video, I want you guys to read 700 views. That's right, 700 views so I can drop my next video. I really need your support, guys. I need you to like, comment, and subscribe real bad. Because I want to see if you guys really like this. Okay, and one more thing. This is probably the last video I ever make for 2017. So, yep. So, more will come, hopefully, 2018. Keep uh, supporting me, loving me. <laughs> and I really do love your comments guys it's, it's really it makes me happy don't forget to hit the like button and I'll see you in the next shot thanks guys take care so first off you have to let the center of the mandala dry and then make purple paint so you got to use red and blue for purple paint and then I use the cap of my body spray to make circle um, purple circles and then I filled it in with purple paint. Afterwards, I used the end of my paintbrush to put blue dottings on each of the purple circles. Afterwards, I used orange paint for orange dotting onto the blue dots to give it a more dimension. And then I used pink paint for pink dotting around the purple circles. I used the end of my paintbrush for this effect. I did the big to medium to small and tinier dottings to give it the petal effect for these pink dots. I used my iPad pen for um, medium dotting and then my Q-tip for more precise dotting by removing the cotton from the cotton swab. Then I placed yellow dotting on top of the orange circles. I also put yellow dotting on the purple to give it more dimension to this petal. Then I outlined white circle by using the cap of my body spray and I outlined it with white paint then I filled it in with white paint. It all depends on your um, paintbrush and how you paint it faster. Then I used the end of my paintbrush for blue dotting on top of the white circles. Then a petal effect for the big to small to big to medium small white dotting around the circle. I used my iPad pen for medium dotting. Afterwards, I used a different paintbrush for smaller dotting, and then. 
I use my Q-tip for more precise dotting by just removing that cotton from the cotton swab. I made more pink paint and I placed tiny pink dotting around the circle, at that first circle of the petal. Then I made thicker pink dotting around that circle. Remember, I just placed these pink dottings halfway, not all the way, just halfway. Then pink dots at the tip for a more precise edge. I added yellow plus white into the mix and I outlined it with a bigger body spray cap. And then I filled it in. With the help of my iPad pen, I have placed orange dots onto the blue circles. Afterwards, I made orange paint with white and outlined it with orange circles. Then I filled them in with orange paint. I have also used my body spray cap and outlined white circles on the orange circles. I also used the end of my paintbrush to put white dots in the center and for a more defined look I added small tiny red dots to give it a bullseye's effect. Then I added blue dottings with a bobby pin. Bobby pins are so useful. As you can see all around the canvas I'm making mini mandalas as you can recall from the first day I video I made, this is like a little review of how to make the center of a mandala. Afterwards, I used a bobby pin to make tiny little yellow dots to give it that popping effect. Then I made blue and white paint and mixed them together and I walked around the, with the paintbrush blue dots all around the yellow. Then I've added many dots of blue around the edges to give it a more petal effect. Tiny blue petals all around the smaller circles. I also used a q-tip and a bobby pin for smaller dotting. Then on top of the blue dots I added white dots all over. I used bobby pin again for tinier white dots on top of the petals to give it a more popping effect, you see? Then I've made more pink paint. Yellow and red, remember? I outlined it with the pink circles. I used my body spray cap for this and then I also filled in the circle with pink paint. To add a more effect onto that petal, I also added yellow dots. Then I also made blue plus white paint mixing together and I outlined blue circles onto the pink. I also filled them in with blue. Then I also outlined and filled in bigger blue circles. Again, I used my body spray cap again, the bigger one. Afterwards, I used blue dottings with the bobby pin. They're so precise. With the yellow and white paint, I outlined and filled in the yellow circles onto the blue. Also, the yellow dotting around the big yellow one, yellow circles. I have also made more orange paint with a hint of white. I put it against the yellow petals. Afterwards, with the end of my pencil, on sharpened pencil, I used orange paint and placed it in the center of the petals. I made more pink paint and I did tiny dottings around the big pink circles. Remember, you have to remove the cotton from the q-tip for more precise dotting. The q-tip gives nice tiny dots. Then. I made more yellow paint with a hint of white again and I, in order to fill the space I used yellow dots around the petals. My aim here is to try to cover the entire canvas with dottings. Then with white and blue paint I mixed it and I used a q-tip stick 
for blue dotting around Afterwards, I outlined and filled in the blue circles on the corners. I also used a blue dots around the circle for, with the Q-tip. Again, I used it again with the yellow Q-tip. I have more yellow dotting to fill in that space. So for the final touch, you're going to need crystals and glue. And all of these came from Dollarama. I have placed blue crystals onto the lower center of the blue circle. I have placed glue on the canvas. I have placed clear crystals on the white petals. I gave it a petal effect. I added bigger crystals with tiny little crystals. I also added little crystals on the center of the bullseyes of the canvas. Then I added tiny purple crystals on the blue petals to give it a popping effect. I added more tiny purples on the yellow flower petals. I placed yellow beads on the center of the yellow flowers. I also put in pearls into the canvas to fill in the space. I added yellow petal flowers beads and blue beads onto the pink circles. I got to place purple beads and purple flowers onto the pink circles. There you go, the final product right before you. The reason why I made this is because my dad loved the mini mandalas that I made. So I decided to make a big canvas. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Instagram, mo underscore Fiza. This will be my last video for 2017. We we'll look forward to 2018. We've reached 200 subscribers. Woohoo! Thank you so much for the love. We've got to reach 700 views for this video in order to get to the next one. Guys, I know we can do it. Yes, we can. Please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And please do share. Thanks for watching. Have a good one. Bye!